back to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for choosing to watch this video if you have not yet subscribed to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button my name is Misayo Patrick and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to use content to build your personal brand I think it's important to have a personal brand and a personal brand that is deliberately built will pay huge dividends in the end you know in terms of gaining name recognition in terms of being memorable in terms of business growth career growth profit making and so on and so forth the good thing is that you can use content to build a strong personal brand and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video see the content that you create is an exposition of your knowledge and your expertise it gives um, prospective customers it gives your audience an idea of what they will be getting from you should they choose to work with you should they choose to do business with you the content you share is an expression of who you are both as an individual and as a business owner and through your content people will be able to connect with you if you put a lot of thoughts into your content and into your content creation process you'll be able to create a trusting brand and build authority in your field and also in the minds of your customers just make sure that you're using your content to accentuate your message and also to get your audience from one level to another. So how can you build a strong personal brand through content? Number one, infuse credibility into your content. One major trend that I see on social media is um, how people are copying content, they're copying the style of other thought leaders in their niche. And I've said it before in this video, it is easy to you know, do what other people are doing, especially people that you are constantly consuming their content. While getting inspired by another person's work is great, you want to make sure that you are not copying their style, you want to make sure that you are not copying their methods, and you want to make sure that you are not even you know, copying their message. Because like I said before, if you consume their content all the time, you risk speaking like them, you risk sharing what they are sharing. That is why um, you need to be original and you need to be authentic. Because if you are copying other people, there will be no originality in your content and people can smell BS from miles away. Number two, stay consistent. And when people are talking about consistency, they only talk about it from the angle of um, showing up regularly on social media or on your online platforms. And I'm going to be dwelling on this for a while. So consistency is key in the online space. Having a consistent schedule will help your audience to know when and what type of content to expect from you. And that's a great way to help foster brand trust and recognition. You want to make sure that you are showing up. You want to make sure that when they come on your page, they are getting new content, they are getting new information, they are getting valuable and relevant content that you have thought of and shared with them. See, if you are a YouTuber or a blogger and you are not ready to be consistent, you just be wasting valuable time and resources. If you are not ready to be consistent on these platforms, don't even bother to start with content creation. I mean, go and um, learn how to be consistent first. Go and learn what it takes to be consistent before you start showing up on those platforms at all. When you deliver content consistently, your audience starts to expect from you and they even start to rely on you to deliver content regularly and because of that your influence as a content creator your influence as you know an individual who wants to build a personal brand grows now the second part of consistency has to do with how you present your content so that your audience will instantly recognize that this um, particular piece of content is coming from you so for instance your social media designs your youtube thumbnails your intro videos your outro videos your video editing style your blog formatting style and these other things they have to be consistent and you want to make sure that you know how you are showing up on social media um, on, on instagram for instance is is cohesive with how you are showing up on youtube so for instance a friend told me that Anytime they see this particular color on YouTube, they instantly think it is me. And, you know, because they know that that's what I also use for my Instagram. So you want to make sure that you are creating your brand elements are really, really consistent and cohesive across all your social media platforms. Also, you want to be consistent with the slangs you use, how you introduce yourself in videos and your overall brand style. All of these things have to be consistent and of high quality. Number three, you want to be professional all the time. Make sure that you are relating with your audience or your clients or even prospective clients as professionally as you can. Focus on serving them. 
don't focus always on making a sale don't focus always on getting their money focus on serving them never try to win an argument with a customer remember that you are you are trying to win a sale right you are trying to get their money of course that's what you want to do and it's not about you um, winning an argument so i've seen cases where business owners will start arguing with a client because you know the client is wrong and the business owner is right and then the argument will start to the point where the um, the business owner loses the client loses the sale and loses whatever referral they may have gotten from the client you want to make sure that you're not doing all of this in your business you want to be as professional as possible treat your customers the way you want to be treated that's the golden rule of life keeping a touch of professionalism will do wonders um, for how other people perceive your brand also so because it's a personal brand people try to be themselves on social media and because of that you see them engaging in negative trends you see them you know putting out negative comments you want to avoid that you want to avoid negativity you want to avoid sarcasm disrespectful languages and other things that can come back to hurt your brand okay we have seen cases of people who became popular and you know at the end of the day the tweets that they have published nine ten years ago came back to bite them in the butt We've seen cases like that. We've seen cases where brands will announce partnership with a particular person and people will go and dig out the negative comments that the person has tweeted about that brand. You want to make sure that you are not doing all of that. So that does not mean that you should not, you know, speak your mind, share your opinions, all right? You just want to make sure that your words, your comments um, are not hurting someone else. They are not hurting other brands. They are not they are not going to come back and bite you in the ass five to ten years to come. Number four, you want to have clear goals for your brand. So before you get started at all, before you start creating content or before you start trying to build a personal brand, you want to set clear goals for your brand. Now, that does not mean that if you've already started creating content, you can't go back and still, you can definitely still establish goals for your brand, no matter the level that you are. Think of how you want people to perceive you, okay? Think of um, what you want people to know, think, or say about you at every point in time. Have a vision for your brand. What is the vision for your brand? Do you want, do you want to become, you know, the go-to business coach in Nigeria or, you know, globally? Do you want to um, create the best animation studio in the world? Whatever it is, you need to set a goal for your brand and then start working towards accomplishing that goals. Have a vision for your brand. Set goals that will help you accomplish that vision. And you want to make sure that every single piece of content that you share meets that goal. So before you create anything at all, before you create or share anything at all, you want to think of your goal. You want to think of how whatever you are sharing aligns with your vision. That is why we always say that, you know, don't do spontaneous posting on social media. You have to create, carefully plan out every content that goes to um, your social media platforms. And I would say this, it is not how often you post that matters. It is how valuable, um, your, the content that you share is that matters followed by your consistency so you need to think value first and then consistency number five and that's the last thing here you want to create high quality content high quality content will definitely promote your brand they will take you from level zero to level 100 within the twinkle of an eye and i mentioned earlier in this video that you have to put a lot of thoughts into your content and your content creation process so that you build a trusting brand i also mentioned that the content that you share is an extension of who you are both as an individual and as a business owner although high quality content does not need to be perfect it does not need to be perfectly executed it just needs to you know give a lot of value to your audience and must be done with a lot of skill so do those three things that we always say before you share a content, make sure that it's either educates, inspires, or entertains your audience and you will be fine. So in conclusion, well thought out content is a good way to build your reputation online. If you are deliberate about your content, you can use it to build a really strong personal brand for you um, as an individual or as a business owner on the internet. So that's what I'm going to be sharing on this video. I hope that you found this video really valuable. I really hope that you found this video valuable. If there's anything you want to say, just put it in the comments below. And if you've loved this video, of course, like it and share it. Also, subscribe. It's very important that you subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Patrick one I will see you in the next video.